Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to open up the Pacific War from Pearl Harbor to the Philippines from Lock and Load Publishing. This is a two player card driven, I believe, war game. Um, it's a reprint uh, of a reprint, I believe, of a new edition. Um, yeah, so this was originally out in 2016, and this is just the reprinted copy. Um, so we'll open it up and see what's inside. It does say. The complexity is 4 out of 10, and the solitaire suitability is only a 2 out of 10. However, depending on how card driven it is, there is a, uh, there is a great uh, CDG uh, uh, solo tool by uh, Stuka Joe. And maybe that will apply to this, I don't know. We shall see. Obviously, took off the shrink. Let's see what's inside. Nice box. Nice, uh, kind of a nice matte finish. Instead of being too, too shiny. Uh, obviously, you got the, the rising sun there and the uh, American the army star there. Alright, so what do we got going on? Well, maybe it's not as card driven as I thought. The cards are very few. So, two dice. Got a red and a blue. We got a small little pouch of cards here. Cool artwork on the back of that. Very cool. Um, that's interesting. When we say double sided, I guess so. I guess if uh, the Japanese will use it one way and the Americans will use it the other way. And there are 16 of them. We got 16 cards. Check out that artwork. Alright. Very good. Pacific War. Game manual version 1.0. Usual uh, lock and load quality here. And the uh, nice slick pages. Large print, not quite as large as some of their of their other games. Seems to be. Uh, this actually seems to be a little bit easier to read, I think. Um, the font choices, things like that. Um, this is all, all rule book. This is about 42, 43 pages. Full color. Very nice little light out. I like this. Index. Uh, you got about 33 pages, and then you've got uh, about six pages of designer notes. So, so you know. Good quality. Like that. Alright, then we got the counter sheets. It looks like there's three of them. Kind of self punching there. Which is just, to me, that's, that's actually good, as long as they don't all come out. It's nice that uh, they're going to come out easily. So there it is, the same one. All right, so there we have the ships, and they do punch out very easily. Nice, nice thick counters, about one inch. Good quality. So we have a bunch of ships here. We're going to have some planes. I don't know if this is very easy to play two player, you know, solo uh, as two player, just playing both, both sides, how easy that is, or if there's some secret stuff going on. So clearly we've got some planes, we've got carriers, ships, probably some subs in here. I've got a sheet of markers, bases, your CBs. Tracking counters. Philippi Finishes. Japanese got it. I don't think that's how it works, but it works fine. But... Alright, so now so we have a battle card. So maybe that's what the cards are for. Two side, I mean, oh, that's kind of weird. I guess you got a battle resolution card here. And then you also got a movement type table, control definition table, 
when you're resolving a battle. Play cards, you get the Allen side and the Japanese side. And then you've got turns. So this will be for facing off. I have a map. A big map. It's a fold out thick cardboard map. It's not a. Uh, it's not mounted. It's not paper. So it's fragile here. Tell me how huge it is. It is 36 by 27. So it's not a hex map. If I open it just like that, it looks like it's a zone control. More regions here. What's interesting is that uh, all locations uh, are written in Japanese and American. There's Midway, Johnson. I'm not going to be able to, to unfold this whole thing here on camera. Then you've got your sequence of play charts on the map. Victor point tracker. Got turn track up here. Uh, definitely going to need some plexi. Uh, that's a neat touch. you got a combat results chart facing that player. And then, so I assume yeah, you got a combat results chart here facing this player. So that's a nice, thoughtful touch. In fact, where the Sequence of plays written both ways. Is that why? No, sequence of plays just written facing the bottom. Um, I assume it's one of those things once you know it, you know it. Alright, so the game is. Got a lot of stuff going. It says it's two player. It looks like it's definitely going to be two player. But go try, see, read the rules. But if you're uh, interested in Pacific War, you're going to get a map. You got a battle card, you got three sheets of counters, so there's about 200 of them. Easy to punch. Uh, rule book, deck of 16 cards, sealed punch, two dice. And that is what comes in the Pacific War from Lock and Load Publishing. And it's back in the box. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh!